choose suitable section of a river. Let this section be the cross section. Divide width into number of vertical subsection. Then measure the average width of each subsection. Then measure the depth at each section as y1, y2, y3. Let's see how it's done in a field. Choose your section and measure the width of a river with the help of tape. Now, place the stop at different intervals along the tape and measure the depth of each section. Velocity is measured by cop type current meter. Place the cop assembly opposite to the flow direction. At each section, bucket wheel of a current meter should be placed at 0.6 times the depth of that section from the water surface. Then count the number of revolutions per second to determine the velocity. Similarly, determine the revolutions at each section and calculate the discharge using formula of current meter method. Choose initial section in a stream. Choose other two sections at interval of 15 meter. Make any object to flow from the initial section. No time taken to reach at the section 2. Similarly to reach at a section 3. And this process is repeated 2 to 3 times and finally calculation is done. Let's do it in the field. Select a straight section of a stream and mark two section at an interval of 15 meter. Then measure the width and depth of stream at each section as previously done in current meter method. Now drop an object from your initial point and measure the time it takes to reach at 15 meter and 13 meter section as time T1 and T2. Repeat the process for 2 to 3 times and then calculation should be done. First of all, we have to determine the calibration factor. For that, take 500 ml of stream water. Then, Measure the conductivity of water using the conductivity meter by submerging the tip of conductivity meter into the water. Then add 1 ml of salt solution of concentration 3 gram per liter which was already prepared at lab. Now mix the solution properly and again measure the conductivity. Similarly, repeat the same procedure by adding salt solution up to 10 ml in 500 ml water and note down the conductivity. Then 
plot a graph of the data and find out the calibration factor as the slope of the obtained line. Now fill about 5 liter of stream water into the bucket and properly mix 2 kg of salt on it. Then pour the solution at some point on stream and measure the conductivity on downstream at a distance of about 20 to 50 times the width of stream. This time data should be noted continuously until the constant values are not obtained. Finally, calculation is done to obtain the discharge in stream. Hope you understood the basic procedures. Thank you for watching.